Hello, everyone. I'm glad to be here with you. My name is Seed Saloon. I'm here to present myself and my colleagues, Professor Samuel, Professor Cald, and Dr. Terek. I am going to be speaking to you today about phishing websites detection from those using classical machine learning and model. Today I will talk about the URL features based phishing detection system using machine learning methods, the specific aspects of data set and methodology, then the test results along with discussion, and the conclusion and the future work. One of the forms of online fraud is called phishing, which is basically an attempt made by spoofed websites to gain user-sensitive information by tricking them into believing that it is a benign website. Phishing attacks can be detected in many, including educating the users, blacklisting websites, extracting the characteristics, and comparing the phishing attacks to known patterns of previous attempts. The purpose of this paper is to create classification models using features extracted from websites to study and classify phishing websites. There are many examples from our lives of phishing. Many fraud cases are carried out in the name of large companies. 1. Tesco Shipping Agent 2. FedEx Red Star Express 3. PayPal Lots and lots of attempts these emails passed smoothly over a few while and were not classified as phishing spam emails despite the security procedures. This paper presents a novel phishing detection approach completely based on the URL. A variety of techniques are used by attackers in order to avoid being detected by system admins or security systems. Figure 1 represents a general design of the URL. Moreover, the components of ALF should be noted in order to understand the attitude of attackers. To approach the web page, the URL begins with its protocol name in a typical form. Subsequently, situated is the subdomain and the second level domain name that usually represents the organization name in the server hosting. In the last, the top-level domain name that displays the domains in the DNS root zone of the Internet occurs. The path of the page in the server represents the inside address, whereas the domain name of the web page is found in the earlier parts and in the HTML structure the page name is seen. The names utilized for phishing purposes, a considerable attempt is made by companies of cyber security to find out by an A. This is because the constitution of SLD and TLD makes the distinctive and important part of a URL called the domain name. However, the blocking of it address can be done in order to hold access to web pages found in the domain name if it is recognized as phishing. In this paper, we offer an intelligent system for detecting phishing websites. The system is based on a machine learning method, particularly supervised learning. This section details the proposed framework of phishing detection using URL features based on website properties. Feature selection techniques, selected data sets, milliliters algorithms, and performance evaluation measures are applied in experimenting with this proposal. The experimental setup for this suggested model is depicted in Figure 2. There are multiple steps in the process. First, the data set of phishing websites is selected. Then a feature selection algorithm is used to analyze the top attributes. 
The features are fed into the milliliters classifiers after being normalized. The training of the features will be done using classical machine learning models such as XGBOST, SVM, RF, KNN, and LR, DT, and NB. Detection of phishing websites will be achieved by using best performing algorithms. After eliminating the target phishing attribute, there are 111 attributes in the data set that indicate if the specific case is phishing value 1 or legitimate value 0. A total of 58,645 instances make up the data set, of which 27,998 instances have been categorized as legitimate whereas 30,647 instances have been categorized as phishing websites. 111 various features found in our study were attained with Python programming language inscribed scripts. Figure 4 shows the features utilized in our study as the top 85 features were selected following the classification from the RF classifier to attain a considerable accuracy rate. Amongst the machine learning algorithms utilized in the experiment include XGBOST, SVM, RF, KNN, and LR, DT, and NB. The models made with these algorithms trained by utilizing the Sklern library within the Python programming language. With a splitting 70%, testing 30%, and algorithm evaluation. We have used the scikit-learn library 12. The evaluation process for all the techniques includes a split of training 70%, test 30%, and tenfolds cross-validation. Furthermore, the entire experiments were performed on a level. The loading of the entire data set to Jupyter Notebook in the Anaconda environment is the initial step. After the duty URL features, it is then classified using each of the eight techniques. Subsequently, eight of the methods having the highest accuracy were chosen and were assessed for their performance on Huddersfield Fishing data sets. And the performance of every technique was evaluated with criteria of precision, accuracy, F measure, and recall. The measurement of classifiers with respect to quality comprises employing precision, accuracy, recall, and F1 measures. The confusion matrix given in Table 1 can be examined to understand these measures. To evaluate the performance of our model, a confusion matrix is employed. A confusion matrix represents a table that presents an overview of the classification and segmentation performance. A two-class confusion matrix is used frequently to put forward the positive and negative classes for a few of the binary classification problems. It can be seen in Table 1 that the four cells of the matrix in this research are true positives, false positives, true negatives, and false negatives. TP refers to the total correct predictions which are positive. FN signifies the total incorrect predictions which are negative. FP refers to the total incorrect predictions which are positive. And TN signifies the total correct predictions which are negative. These four results can be used to obtain the four measures of classification performance. The traditional models used for comparison include XGBOST, SVM, RF, KNN, and LR, DT, and NB. A succession of experiments has been performed using traditional machine learning methods to present equal parallel contrast between models. Models were selected based on their comparable and competitive outputs. The results have been recorded correctly without any bias in choosing models. 
The outcomes for the entire data set utilized were attained in eight various algorithms. The training time and precision, accuracy, F measure, and recall rate are shown in Table 2. As per these data, the brief training time was seen with the NV algorithm, whereas utilizing the ANG classifier having a 97.63% of accuracy rate. The test classification outcome was attained in the model. As a result of this study, the strength of machine learning in spite of adverse learning techniques in terms of phishing detection. In addition, the study also looks at analyzing numerous features of both legitimate and phishing owls through the technique of machine learning to detect phishing owls. Machine learning is an auspicious method to differentiate between the websites that are legitimate or phishing. It has seen that the purpose of phishing websites is to seize all the sensitive information of an individual, for instance, their credit card details, username and password, and all various private data. All of this is accomplished by deceiving them into believing that these websites are legitimate. Although, machine learning can set out to downgrade the accuracy of a trained classifier model, as this method is liable to an adverse learning technique. In order to detect phishing websites, the following algorithms are utilized, for instance. XGBOST, Support Vector Machine, Random Forest, K-Nearest Neighbor, Artificial Neural Network, Logistic Regression, Decision Tree, and Goshen Naive Bayes Algorithms. When evaluating our model by utilizing eight different machine learning algorithms, the AND was found to produce the highest accuracy rate at 97.63%. In addition, for phishing website detection, experiments were repeatedly carried out using various random forest classifiers. According to the contrasted outcome, it was found that the proposed system had high accuracy rates and increased phishing detection efficacy. As a result, as far as future work is concerned, we should first develop a large and current data set of phishing detection system dependent outs. Also utilizing certain hybrid algorithms along with NLP based features. We must utilize this data set and aim to strengthen our system. The next step involves combining SVM with a web browser and employing large numbers of beginners in the pilot study. At last, we combine the proposed technique with different feature extraction models to evaluate its use in a real-world setting.